Hello guys and welcome back to another Skullgirls variant review video and today we're doing Parasol. This variant sheltered is an original concept by Skullgirls themselves, meaning this outfit has no reference, it's just simply an original concept by Skullgirls. This variant Heavy Rain is also a reference to the game Skullgirls. This variant's costume is supposed to be the reference to Parasol's egrets. The egrets are an army of soldiers that protect Parasol and the Canopy Kingdom. This variant is what Parasol would look like if she was an egret. This variant No Egrets has no reference to a character or a game. This variant is just simply an original concept made by Skullgirls themselves. This variant Ivy League is a reference to the comic books made by DC, Batman. This variant is a reference to the character named Poison Ivy in the Batman series. The first Batman comic Poison Ivy was in is comic book number 181. If I'm being serious, I have never knew who Poison Ivy was before I played the game Injustice 2. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't looking forward to do this variant, but I gotta do it for the video. This variant Shadow Ops is a reference to the game Gaia Online. Gaia Online is an anime chibi style role playing game where you would hang out with friends and socialize. And the variant Shadow Ops is a reference to the character Al Runa. Al Runa is a succubus that acts very seducive to the opposite gender. Now I think that's some character who can be in the game, but all I know is that I'm staying away from that game because that's some crazy stuff. This is why I stay away from roleplay games. This variant Regally Blonde is a reference to the anime series Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This variant is a reference to the character Olivier Mira Armstrong. This anime series even had their own manga and their own movie. If I'm being honest, I wouldn't watch the anime, I would read the manga. This variant Star Crossed is the reference to the game Skullgirls. The variant is a reference to the character Annie, which is one of the fighters from Skullgirls. Annie is an actor from the TV series Annie of the Stars, which is one of the shows in the Skullgirls universe. In the story mode, it is joked around that Parasol likes to show Annie of the Stars, so maybe this is her cosplay. This variant Primed is a reference to the classic game Metroid. This variant is a reference to the character Samus Aran, the main character of Metroid. If you were to enter the cheat code named Justin Bailey, your character would turn into a version without her suit, but instead giving her a weird purple with the green hair effect. The cheat code can only be used on the Nintendo Entertainment System, but later on the cheat code was taken out of the game, making it no longer obtainable. This variant, Princess Pride, has no reference to any game nor character. This is just simply an original concept made by Skullgirls themselves. This variant, High Ruler, is a reference to the game The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The outfit that Parasol is wearing is a reference to the character Zelda, but in this look, she is wearing her new Breath of the Wild style. In Breath of the Wild, you control a character named Link, who awakens from a hundred year sleep. He has to regain his memory, defeat Calamity Ganon, and restore the kingdom of Hyrule. If you like lots of storytelling, battling, and survival, this is the game for you. This variant, Risky Ginger, is a reference to the film Who Framed Roger Rabbit, adapted from the novel Who It Censored Roger Rabbit. The variant is a reference to the character named Jessica Rabbit. She is depicted as Roger's human toon wife. I have never seen this movie before, but I have only seen it in memes, so let me know if the movie is good or bad in the comments. This variant, Somersault, is a reference to the TV series My Little Pony. Alright, hold on guys, hear me out. I know it obviously looks like Umbrella from Skullgirls, but this is what some people are saying. That it looks like this character called Fluttershy from My Little Pony. So, I wouldn't expect you to call this character that because it obviously looks like Umbrella. I wouldn't blame you guys if you don't want to call her Fluttershy, because it clearly looks like Umbrella. You guys can't lie though, it does look like this horse. 